Hi, this is Negar Saleh from the Juniper Network Partner Summit in Sydney's Hilton Hotel. We're about to speak with Gary Kingsley, Vice President of APAC Channel Sales. The kind of large strategic, what we would refer to as strategic alliances, so that's people like IBM and Dell. Um, and, you know, historically they've sold uh, a lot of Cisco, they still do. Um, uh, Dell perhaps uh, less so, but certainly in the IBM space, um, they, you know, they still obviously you know, have a large installed base of Cisco customers and will continue to sell and support that. Uh, however, I think strategically, um, we are, you know, firstly we have an OEM agreement with IBM. Uh, IBM are now OEMing uh, our own switches, so these are black box um, IBM branded uh, switches um, which, which IBM are now selling. And that's through um, uh, the STG organization, so the group that uh, are responsible for selling you know, a lot of hardware, uh, now have uh, access obviously to uh, and have historically been selling the blue boxes but now have their own IBM uh, branded box. Um, Dell is similar. Um, Dell's also uh, OEMing uh, our, uh, our EX switches, and uh, uh, again, that's um, uh, that's an opportunity I think for Dell as they build out their you know data center story, as they build out their cloud story. You can't really have a uh, a cloud or a data center conversation without considering um, the network infrastructure that runs into that into that data center too. So by having those strategic alliances um, uh, is important to us, and obviously. In many cases now, that means those guys are focusing on Juniper as opposed to our closest competitor. The second bit of the question then is the kind of general uh, kind of reseller systems integrator community. Again, historically, thousands of those guys that have been selling uh, selling Cisco, and the opportunity I believe we have is partly end user uh, driven, where we've now got end users who are asking their integrators to uh, quote them for Juniper solutions as a potential alternative. Uh, in some cases, it's because we've you know, been able to engage with the end user and articulated the benefits of Junos and the benefits of Juniper technology. Mm -hmm. um, and I think an element, uh, another element to it is, again, potentially the, the profit um, opportunity that these, uh, these integrators can make uh, with Juniper. Mm -hmm. um, so again, we, we intentionally uh, do not have an over-distribution strategy, which means I don't want you know, gazillions of partners all kind of tumbling over each mm -hmm. other in the same deals. Uh, what I'd like them to do is be able to delineate um, uh, between themselves around their service capabilities, around the type of solutions that they can offer, mm -hmm. ideally built on, on Juniper, and in some cases that could be using the development kits for you know, Pulse and Space uh, to, uh, to then be able to offer uh, a solution of which Juniper is a, an embedded component, mm -hmm. uh, if you like, and uh, to be able to do that profitably um, as opposed to, yes, here's the best price on a you know, on a Cisco CAD or a switch or whatever, and uh, um, uh, and as a consequence, you know, hopefully, you know, facilitating, uh, you know, reasonable margins for for those integrators.